once again, it feels like we've lost our sense of time. Yeah, what time is it? Let's see, a quarter till. <laughs> Daylight saving time leaves some dazed and confused. News 13's John Lee joins us. And John, you met a pair with a different view of that lost hour. That's all right, Tammy. You know what time it is. The 60-minute switch is blamed for everything from lost sleep to car accidents. But we found a Weaverville business with a whole different perspective. I always like anything mechanical. Clocking in at work may seem harder this Monday. We went to bed early. <laughs> Daylight saving time strikes again, and standing this test of time can be a challenge. Strange. Even if you're a horologist by trade. Uh -huh. BK Jin fascinated since he was 18. Now, this is a rather old movement and it had a hard life, it seems. At the Clockwise Workshop in Weaverville, we found resistance to time change. I don't see much the point of it, but some people say it's good for uh, saving, uh, saving energy. I don't know. It's definitely you get a little jet lag there <laughs> when you have to get up earlier uh, and it's harder to go to bed later, you know. But it turns out they'd be cuckoo to protest too much because all this is actually good for business. Every time there is a time change, people bring their clock because they have problem with them. People often break their clocks when they have to turn them back particularly. So uh, it's kind of a shame, but we definitely get more business. At their Weaverville workshop, they don't just observe time with their eyes. Their ears feed a need for simpler times. The sound, the tick-tock, actually, of, of the clocks. It's very soothing. They've worked on clocks that go back generations and sometimes centuries, repairing a sentimental concept of time. A lot of warm and fuzzies. <laughs> In this digital age, we still face a modern inconvenience. Skipping 60 minutes every March leads us to a counterclockwise notion that daylight saving is nothing but a remnant of the past. It just messes up your circadian rhythms. Sure, it's only an hour, but already there are mixed feelings about whether we should turn back the clock. And unfortunately, cardiologists and other groups seeing a bump in business. One study says up to 10% more heart attacks happen on the Monday and Tuesday after we have switched to daylight saving time.